Well, the end of the beginning of this tape is the end of our uh, mushroom tour. I think most people here are kind of glad to be leaving for various odorific reasons. So what are you going to do with this mushroom? Do you have uh, plans for it? Examine it in class. Okay. We're studying fun guy right now. Oh, that sounds like fun guy. Yes, <laughs> a lot of fun with our guys. <laughs> well, here we are at hers. See that when planning on buying the food here was a bad idea. Very, very crowded. I guess that must be chipper. Who knew? I wonder what brand of uh, potato chips they serve here. Hmm. What what brand of potato chips do they serve here? I like her. Salt and vinegar. Oh, excellent choice. Excellent. But they make everything basically. Like oh, good. Spicy. Now, which of those two is your favorite? Definitely cotton candy. Very sugary. Good choice. My cotton candy is Make your way to It's very lush. It just it, it makes your mouth water. Mm. Fortunately, they do tell you what to do in case you choke on the food. Nice. Very nice of them. So, what are you going to get? Uh, mm. Chicken nuggets uh, um, and nachos. Uh, um, uh, um, uh. Oh, but the food was worth the wait. Oh, look at the sparkle and shine on that hot dog. Look at those nuggets, Avery. Are you impressed? I'm very impressed. I knew you'd be. And Heather, how are those nachos? All right, yes. Yes, this is Avery and Chipper. We love you, Chipper. Yes, we do. This is Chipper. How much was Chipper? Five twenty-nine. Say five twenty-nine. Five twenty-nine. Well, unfortunately, they've just told us we can't shoot video, so this is it. Avery, you'll have to explain everything afterwards since okay, we're not allowed to videotape during. Okay. Wow, what a group. Is this like a mug shot? It's a mug shot. Yeah. Okay. All right, mug. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the part everyone was waiting for. Uh, don't worry about it if they drop this, you don't have to pick them up. Can I ask you a question while we're walking along? The machine that, that x-rays the boxes, is someone watching the screen or is there a software program? They don't need program? to. It, I, software I, yeah, decides. It pushes it off and then when they come back through, then they have to watch the screen. When they put the box through and it will tell them exactly what, what was the problem. But yeah, nobody has to. It's a program. Avery, I see you shivering in anticipation. Just so good. And also, don't forget me. Let me yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 They're very good ones. 
How are they? I said from now on I'm microwaving my uh, potato chips. Avery, what do you have there? Old potato chips. Oh. You want them? How was the tour? Good. So did you learn anything? I've been here before. Oh, but you might have forgotten. Bye. Ooh, good. Boy, there sure is a lot of hers junk available. Wow. Avery, what is it that you want? You want the chips? Yes, we may get them. And I'm sure Dana would appreciate the hers stressed potato for squeezing, but here, would you like to do a demo? Stressed potato. Do it, do a demo. Pick it up. I think we'll pass. Should we pass? I think yes. we should pass on I think so. This guy is very, very cute. All right, needs to, now let's have some words of wisdom here. Can you sum this up? Chocolate pretzels are the best. Yes! <laughs> Mm. Dana, this is a big deal. This is the launch of the space shuttle. <clears throat> this is also Channel 3's first high definition TV broadcast. And you're a digital baby. <laughs> Boom. There is going to be another hole built in here at T minus 31 seconds. Chris Kraft, can you explain? Yes, uh, that. When you, when you get to go near the TV. I want to get you with the TV. Go sit near the TV. It's all automatic, and you don't. Don't turn it off. Now just watch it. It's going to go. Get serious about going. The problem they got here is they only have so much AP. Sit down and watch. Watch what happens. It's going to go boom. Dana, please turn the TV on right now. Thank you. Leave, come sit down. Sit down. Right, so and watch it. Got about a five minute You're going to like it. Oh, this is. Did they just say it's going to be five minutes? There won't be a hole. They've changed okay. their Maybe minds at launch good. control. All They're systems are going. Keep right on going. Oh, good. All systems have been Quick, put on channel three. That we, we would be. Less than one minute three. away now. Yeah, you got to put three. That we, this would be high definition. John Glenn to space. Well, is it NBC or CBS? Oh, it's 10. It. You're right. So it's 42, I think it's NBC. 41, 40. Oh, much clearer. <laughs> Go for auto start. Turn up the volume. Now have control functions. <laughs> oh. Hey, Dana. This is it. Come here. Watch what happens. Watch the TV. Come and watch the TV. T minus 15. Watch the TV. Watch what's going to happen. It's going to go kaboom. Look. T look, look. 10, 9, 8. Watch. We have a go for engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Woohoo! Discovery, roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. Woohoo! Look at it, look at the airplane. Look, 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 look. Go, go see it, go watch it. Like that, Dana? You seem real interested. Discovery, Houston, go with No, I can tell you're very interested, Dana. Gonna fly the spaceship someday? Is Barney gonna fly in the spaceship? All right, uh, Scott Carpenter, uh, the old astronaut, was pounding the chair and laughing and saying, "How about that?" <laughs> it's uh, you Dana, know, you want to fly in a spaceship someday? It's hard to be unmoved by that. 
What's going on right here right now, Michael Lopez, like right? Well, first of all, I'm a little choked up. <laughs> These guys are, uh, they're going to write about ready for the solid rocket boosters to burn out, <clears throat> at which time they'll feel a noticeable deceleration. You'll see the pattern in the TV of the flame coming out sort of change a bit, and shortly thereafter you'll see the two boosters separate. And that is obviously a critical milestone. There they go. Now they continue with the three main engines. Um, and the acceleration obviously is almost uh, back down to 1G and it will gradually increase all the way to 3Gs uh, until they reach one minute before main engine cutoff. I don't know what your grandfather is doing today, but John Bennett 77 is on his way to space. I'm telling you, Discovery could you're now not quite prepared for that in some way. However, telemetry indicating all three it's, engines continue uh, to perform well and Discovery's so performance to this point, two and a half minutes minute. into the flight, has been as expected. Discovery now They're traveling at a speed of 3,500 miles the beach. per hour at an altitude of 43 you miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 70 miles. All systems are continuing to perform well. You think when uh, John Glenn was a young man growing up in Ohio, it was a, a, by the standards of the time, a very modern village, but across America, only about half the homes had electricity then, you know, and uh, cars by today's standards were very primitive indeed. Flight was uh, really just getting underway in the pre-war years, and here he is going up to take a look at the Earth from outer space. A surprising thing has happened to that man. It ain't, uh... What are you doing? Are you being silly? You're a silly willy. Dana, Raina, Rooney. Are you being a Three space person? 30 seconds into the flight, Discovery now traveling at a speed of 4,600 miles per hour. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, just about 135 miles. Telemetry indicating that all systems on board are con... Negative return. And with that call, Discovery is now too far downrange and has gained too much altitude to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. Discovery Houston, press to ATS. Discovery copies. Well, Michael, it just sounds uh, fabulous. I mean, the weather is great. All the switches are good. Uh, it's gone beyond the point where they have to come back here. It's not. I will not see John Lyons in Florida today. No. That's reassuring. Just about four more minutes of powered flight remaining. Discovery traveling at a speed of 5,700 miles per hour. At this point, they're Del probably noticing the 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 forces is starting to pick up, um, and it gets, uh, yeah, I would say, borderline uncomfortable right about here. Um, things, their arms in particular, get pretty heavy. Any checklist that they have to hold are noticeably heavier, and um, uh, they've rolled to a heads-up position, so they really can't see even the pilot and commander much of the Earth. They, they have to be looking out, to, and they'll see the, uh, the lack of space for the most part, but. I guarantee there's seven smiling people aboard that. You know, maybe when you're a little older, Danny, you'll be more interested in this sort of thing. Well, they had a great day at the beach, those folks who gathered here today. It was just perfect. It was the best fireworks display that you'll ever see. I never get tired of it. I've seen a lot of them. And, uh, that all means that discovery uh, can now reach a safe can't prepare yourself. Let's go to Jim Avila now in Concord, Ohio, uh, John Glenn's hometown. They know something about how to grow heroes there, Jim. My name? Is Dana well, everybody is very excited because there is a centurion in our midst. Yeah, but where's your shield? I don't want a shield. She doesn't need a shield. Listen, <laughs> let me do a, be noble, let me come do a dramatic close-up. I can't believe that hat. I can't believe that. that I'd like so to make cool. a suggestion. Turn, let me see, turn. And that is, Ooh. get a higher sock up to your knee. Because that's what they wore. And, uh, that is very yeah, nice. You've got a high sock like a, a woolen sock. Tomorrow's Friday. It's okay. Well, it's fine. You it's not. Worry your, you can worry your, your mothers. Well, because that is just for right, you. Don't worry about it. I love the shoes. Too. Yeah, the shoes make it good. Yeah, those are my shoes. Look mean. High five. High five. Arr. Arr. They didn't go R. No R. No R. Can I say? Where's your costume? No costume? Are you going to be Poe? Uh -oh. Here we are at Tatum. Halloween parade time. 
It is cool. Uh oh. What do you think? Where's your costume? What are you dressed up as? It's an editor. You're, that's your editor outfit? Yes. Very nice. Hello. Well, look at all these people. So what are you dressed up as? Well, let me see here. A mother with a camera. I say very clever, very, very clever. Megan. Thank you. Anywhere you want. I came in as a. Watch out for the little child. What, what are you dressed up as? <laughs> All right, I love it. Well, there she is. Yeah, look at the Spice Girl. That's Tyler. That's Tyler. Where? Right there, the Spice Girl. The one with the blonde hair. That's Tyler. Are you serious? Yeah, Tyler. Tyler. Oh, man, I love it. <laughs> so, Kelsey, how is your day going so far? Pretty bad. You know, it's hard to tell it's you under there. there I've said it. You've definitely looked better in your life. <laughs> so do you have any profound words on this Halloween? Hope it was better than last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be better than last night. All right, well, I'll see you around. See you around. Bye-bye. I know. Dressed up as, right a minute. Oh my God. Hi, Joel. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, <laughs> is oh, now that is a serious tie. I like that tie. That is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Dana, what do you think of all these outfits? Are they cool or what? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's a great one. Oh, it's Joey's mom. She's a... Can't see anything, eh? That'll teach you. Well, have a good rest of the day, honey. We're going to be out of here. Okay. We also have big Hershey's. Hey, what's going on here? Well... Now, where was I? Um, so, what's going on here? Okay, we are putting... Halloween candy for trick-or-treaters into the bowl. It is Halloween day. It's about 9.16 in the morning. And Dana is making an attempt to help. Not much of an attempt, but an attempt to helps. Okay, next we can put in some gummy savers. I'm just observing because I bought the candy. Let's see. That I would expect that um, the airheads will go first, so we are probably going to need the other bag. Right? Okay, but I mean, you can set it aside, yeah. and then when the airheads go, you can... How many, uh, were there any airheads bags left? Were there was there like two airheads bags left. Okay.
Can I get a cup of coffee? Then I'll uh, let you pee. Let me go get a cup of coffee. I've got in my reporter a classic case of race delusion as you spend. What is the problem? I'm fighting for you and a blue eyed Jesus. America first, the rest get the pieces. Are you Poe? This is to prove <laughs> that yes, she did put the Poe hat on. She's Poe. You're Poe. Oh, don't take it no, off. No, no, no. no. One, honey. I'll show you in the mirror. Don't you want to see in the mirror? Hi. Oh, well. Poe. Are you feeling better, Dana? Mm -hmm. After a little pukey time? Pukey. 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 All right, there's that po. Oh. Ah. You gonna dance? Do -do 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 -do. Dana, are you putting on your shoes? Cool. Dana is watching Big Comfy Couch, which is one of her favorite shows. But she's also putting on shoes. that foot. Are you going to put those shoes on? Well, it looks kind of pretty. Why don't you give it a hump there, little partner? Okay. Oh, Nelly! Oh, happy trails to you, little Billy. The Pony Baloney Pony Express has mail to deliver, and a clown of dust, and a hearty eye-hole sliver. Oh, are there flowers on the shoe? Wow, that's pretty cool. Can you sing the Barney song? Family. Oh, Dana's found a good place to sit. Are you going to talk on your phone? <laughs> Where's that Dana sitting? That's very silly. Hey. Yeah. Who's you talking to? Who's on the phone?
Well, bear in mind, too, some of these places can really be dives. Dive? Dive. Yep. In Haddonfield. <laughs> Dana, Dana, Raina, Rooney. What are you doing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hello. Avery's heading for Heather's party. Yep, and I have um, seeds. That. I, I see. But I added a tail because everything looks better with a tail. You know, I've often said that. Yes. Often. Okay. Bunny is in search of an apartment. Move in with us. You can rent out the attic. Yeah, yeah she, <laughs> she can't afford the attic. <laughs> she doesn't have that kind of money. Well, we're looking. You never know, kids. Well, you can make some calls. Yeah, all right. I figure I should be able to move out by, you know, like it, like Christmas time. You should be able to move out before you and Ronnie kill each other. You've been sensing that, huh? <laughs> Yeah, but um, someone owns creatures too. Well, you can always come they here. Of course, you'd really be ready to kill us within about two days. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's not so really. I don't think here, it's Heather, me. here's your gift. Can I borrow I really, a vacuum copy? I really don't think it's me. I just as, think as, as long people, as you don't mind we'll me, Joel we'll and Dana, it's every morning between four fifteen and. And before we knew it, there was Charlotte. Hello. Hello. We're Hello. stalling you. Okay. Hey, Dana. This is my fearless assistant, Bunny. Start again. Hold it. Give it a few seconds. Okay. Just look into the camera and then give it a few seconds and start. This is my fearless assistant, Bunny. Hello. To prove how important maps really are, she will now drive to Alaska without any. I'll send you a postcard from Anchorage. Okay, bye. She just really, really does look lost. I hope she comes back soon or finds Alaska. I can't find Alaska. You can't find it? 
I can't find it. You There's want a map? Saw... What's the map? Uh-oh. <laughs> it did not turn out. Do it no? again. No. Why? Okay. A world without maps is frustrating. She should know. Hmm, there's got to be a sign around here for Anchorage, Alaska. Hmm. Alaska. Doesn't it say Alaska? I'll try this way. <sighs> it should be there. Is it? There's signs up here. Well, so you can just drive. Just like turn the corner and just drive. at a gas station. Nah, I'll find it. Oh, there goes another car. Oh, I'm getting more and more lost. I don't understand this. I don't know where I'm going. getting colder. I know I'm going, I think, north. I'm sorry. That's okay. Sounds good. Maybe 
see they're moving out of Haddonfield Commons. <laughs> Rex Thrift Avenue, yes. And look, it's all blue at Nifty Thrifty. I knew that. Go into the bank lot and spin around a little. Okay. And then just kind of like loop a little bit. You get some shots of you trying to use Fast left. Yeah. Do you want to get that bank robbery in progress? Yeah. No. Okay. It's open on Sundays, the bank? I don't think so. Somebody's in there. Oh, you can go back. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Welcome to As the World Turns. It's the end of the first marking period. If you still have no clue who I am, I'm Avery. I'm in your classes, remember? Okay, good you do. Well, I'm here to tell you about the wonderful world of maps. So what is a map? Basically, it's a flat plane showing a section of the Earth or the entire Earth itself. As technology advances, so does our maps. In the beginning, maps showed only tiny little sections of the Earth. Beyond that, people had no clue what was there. Of course, some explorers were afraid to go and sail and chart other lands. Hi, welcome to As the World Turns. It's the end of the first marking period, and if you still don't know who I am, I'm Avery. I'm in your classes, remember? Okay, good, you do. Well, I'm here to tell you about maps. So what is a map? Maps represent a section of the world, or the entire world, on a flat plane. No. So stop. Hi. Welcome to As the World Turns. It's the end of the first marking period, and if you still don't know who I am, I'm Avery. I'm in your classes, remember? Okay, good, you do. Well, I'm here to tell you about maps. So what is a map? A map is a representation of the Earth, or a section of it, drawn on a flat plane. In the beginning, maps showed only small localities, and very inaccurately. This is because beyond the small section of the Earth, people had no idea what was there. Of course, some explorers were afraid to go and sail and chart other lands. As mankind got smarter and smarter, our maps got bigger and more detailed. After a while, maps helped us travel from place to place. So what would happen if there were no maps? My wonderfully talented Aunt Bunny will help us figure out. As mankind got smarter and smarter, our maps got bigger and more detailed. After a while, they helped us figure out how to get from place to place. So what would happen if there were no maps? My wonderfully talented Aunt Bunny will help us figure out. As mankind got smarter, our maps got bigger and more detailed. After a while, they helped us to get from place to place. So what would happen if there were no maps? My wonderfully talented Aunt Bunny will help us figure that out. Increases in technology have also helped made our maps better. With the use of satellites and other computers, our surveys of the land have become much more accurate. Improvements in technology. Improvements in technology have also made our maps better. With the use of satellites and other computers, our surveys of the land can be much more accurate. As our technology improves, our maps do too. With the use of satellites and other computers, 
our surveys of the land are much more accurate. As our technology improves, our maps do too. With the use of satellites and other advanced forms of technology, our surveys of the land have become much more accurate. As our technology improves, our maps do too. With the use of satellites and advanced forms of electronics, our surveys of the land have become much more accurate. As our technology improves, our maps do too. With the use of satellites and advanced electronics, our survey As our technology improves, our maps do too. With the use of satellites and forms of advanced tech as our technology improves, our maps do too. Through the use of satellites and advanced electronics, our surveys of the land have become much more accurate. One of the most important parts of a map is the... Just look at the camera, be stayed, and start again. One of the most important parts of a map are the lines of longitude and latitude. These imaginary lines form a grid that help us pinpoint exact locations on Earth. Lines of longitude run north-south, and lines of latitude run east-west. One of the most important parts of a map are the lines of latitude and longitude. These imaginary lines form a grid that help us pinpoint exact places on the Earth. Lines of longitude run north-south, and lines of latitude run east-west. This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It helps us find directions on a map or globe. It shows which ways are north, south, east, and west. Another way maps show directions is to use a north arrow, which only shows the direction of north. This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It shows which This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It's used on maps and globes to show which directions are which. It shows which ways are north, south, east, and west. Another thing that can show directions on a map or globe is the north arrow, which only shows which direction is north. This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It shows directions on a map or globe. It shows which ways are north, south, east, and west. Another thing that can represent directions on a map is the north arrow. It only shows which way is north. This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It's used on maps and globes to show which directions are north, south, east, and west. Another way maps show direction is using the north arrow, which only shows which way is north. One of the most important parts of a map are the lines of latitude and longitude. These imaginary lines help form a grid that can... No, just keep going. Just look up the camera, give it a couple seconds. One of the most important parts of a map are the lines of latitude and longitude. These are not doing well. One of the most important parts of a map are the lines of latitude and longitude. These imaginary lines form a grid that can help us pinpoint exact places on the Earth. Lines of latitude run east-west, and lines of longitude run north-south. This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It helps us find directions on a map. It shows the directions of north, south, east, and west. Another way maps tell us direction is by using the north arrow. It only shows which way is north. This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It's used on maps and globes to show which directions are north, south, east, and west. Another way maps and globes show directions by using a north arrow. It shows which way is north.
This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It's used on maps and globes to show which directions are north, south, east, and west. Another way a map or a globe shows which direction is which is by using a north arrow. It only shows which way is north. This is a compass rose. No, it's not a type of flower. It's used on maps and globes to show which directions are north, south, east, and west. Another way a map or a globe shows direction is by using a north arrow. It only shows which way is north. For most purposes, there are five types of maps. The first is the graphic relief political map. It shows major physical features of an area as well as political boundaries. This is a graphic relief political map of Europe. There is also the economic map. This map shows things such as areas of industry or trade routes. This is an economic map which shows grain production throughout the world as well as its importing and exporting statistics of every country. No, I have to do that again. Okay, Just give me a minute. Okay. There's also the economic map. It shows areas as... I'm not doing very well today. Mm -hmm. okay. There's also the economic map. It shows areas of industry as well as trade routes. This map shows grain... Can you stop it for a minute? There's also the economic map which shows things such as areas of industry or trade routes. This map shows grain production at where through... I think it's because I'm sick, wait a minute. There's also the economic map. It shows things such as trade routes or areas of industry. This map shows the world and highlights countries where grain importing and exporting are very important. Another type of map is the population map. Using colors and symbols, it shows population and population density throughout the world. This map shows the ever-increasing world population. It highlights certain countries and tells how their population will increase between now and the year 2050. The fourth type of map is a climate map. It uses colors to show different climates throughout the world. Here's a map which shows the different climates of Africa. The fourth type of map is the climate map. It uses colors to show climates throughout the world. This map shows the varying climates of Africa. The fifth type of map is the special purpose map. It can show almost anything I haven't mentioned already like where your family is located, or the extent of the ancient Roman Empire, like the one seen here. The last type of map is the special purpose map. It can illustrate almost anything I haven't mentioned already, like where your family is located, or the extent of the ancient Roman Empire, like the one seen here. I'm going to show us her new, her new game. <laughs> well, that would be very good. Is it good? Oh no. <laughs> hey, you. Ooh, Mookie. That's the Mookie girl. Mookie. It's the Mookie girl. Mookie. Now, it, Dana has been eating a bunch of Cheerios. Very good. Did you enjoy the Cheerios? Now she's putting the hat on the Cheerios. Right? It's important for Cheerios to have a hat. Dana, can you do the Wubba 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 song? Wubba 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 Wubba. Wubba 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 and the... Doogie Doo. Wubba 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 and we sing real loud. 
If you wubba me, then I would wubba you. If you wubba me, then I would wubba you. Do, 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 do. What song can you sing? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday, dear Dana. Can you sing Twinkle Twinkle? Mm -hmm. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle Twinkle Little Star how I wonder what you are. Hey, Dana, can you do the uh, the itsy bitsy spider? <laughs> the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again Zzzz The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Boom, boom. Say bye bye, camera. Bye bye. And what do you have to say for yourself? I don't know. Hmm. Mm, happy Veterans Day. Thanks. Mm. November 11th, 1998. I was eating breakfast when all of a sudden Dad popped out with the camera. Well, it was sitting there. I said, hey, what the heck, you know? Hmm. It was going to be too light. Let's switch it this way. To the M position. Will that be better? Hmm. Much better. Uh -huh. Much better. Nice. Yes, Pinky, which we taped over with my project. That's right. Let's see what Avery looks like through. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Is it cooler than the desktop of Infinity? Oh no, nothing's cooler than the desktop of Infinity. And then we'll come over the top. Ooh. We'll catch you eating peanut butter. <gasps> this is Dana, she's moving and grooving. Dana, are you moving and grooving? Can you move and groove? Mm -hmm. She's moving and grooving. <laughs> Head. On the other hand, Avery does not know how to move and groove. That's oh, pretty good. Okay, never mind. Dana, can you move and groove? Finger. She's moving Finger. and grooving. Use your finger. <laughs> She's moving and grooving. So silly. What's this? Dana, what's that? Is that Slinky Binky? Who slinky is that? Mine. Mine. 
That's yeah, slinky doing riffing. a slinky dance. Ooh, cool. But will the slinky ever be the same? Oh, for me? used to be cute like that. Now you're merely beautiful. Did. Did. Avery did not eat her peas! Oh! You stand accused of not eating your peas! How do you plead? I don't like peas! <laughs> it is getting the pretzel. You could have eaten the corn! But no! <laughs> What are you doing, Dana? Oh. Well, I think so. <laughs> you want a pretzel, Dana? Okay. Is that pretzel good? She's moving and grooving. <laughs> She's got her pretzel and she's moving and grooving. She's moving and grooving. She's moving and grooving and coughing. You all right? You all right? Uh-oh. Oh, say bye-bye, camera. Say bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dana has been very giggly this dinner time. She's playing the harmonic horn. Dana ate very little dinner. She did it your horn. This is her second piece of horn. Dana, what did you do? Did you have a good day today? Okay. What food is in there? Is there noodles? Noodles. Mm -hmm. What else? Is there chicken? 
chicken. Mm -hmm. It's chicken. Mm -hmm. Wash hair and na 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 I don't get her started with oh. food fight. Peas, peas, peas. No, well, give her some peas if that's what she'll eat. Want some peas? Dad, can you say bye-bye to the camera?